Hey what's up guys this is Vimal here and welcome back to another video on my channel. In today's video I have got something really nice to show you all. It's a budget friendly 4K action camera that costs only around 3500 rupees. A lot of you guys have asked me to make a video on a very affordable 4K action camera and that is the reason I'm making this video. So this particular action camera is made by Noise and is called the Noise Play Special Edition also known as Noise Play SC. And going down we've got some of its features. Let me show you. The Noise Play SE can shoot videos in 4K resolution at 30 frames per second, comes with a 30 meter waterproof case, supports Wi-Fi and even has a wireless remote. So those are some of its highlights. Going to the right, we've got some details regarding the accessories. You get a lot of accessories free in the box, around 13 of them. I'll show you one by one after unboxing the package. You've got the Noise Play branding everywhere on the box and going to the back side, you've got the specs of the product. It can shoot videos from 720p to all the way up to 4K resolution. Along with that, it also supports slow motion, loop recording and also time lapse. The max photo resolution is 16 megapixels, offers a lot of photo modes and comes with a 1050 mAh lithium battery. So those are all the specs. That's it about the box packing. Now let's finally get started with the unboxing. Let me grab my knife and cut the seal on the box. There we go. Let me take it out and show you. So the budget action camera comes nicely packed on a tray. You've got the action camera at the top and all the accessories below that. So here it is the Noise Play SE 4K action camera. It comes in this waterproof case and the quality of the case looks pretty good. But before we go in detail, let me first show you all the accessories that we get in the package. You've got a whole lot of stuff over here. You get an action cam bracket. It's just like a skeletal frame with quarter inch mounts at the top as well as the bottom part. A bike handlebar mount more clips and mounts, some stickers and a helmet mount, a packet of straps and velcros, a lens cleaning cloth, a wireless remote control which includes two buttons so using them you can shoot both photos and videos wirelessly and also has two status LED indicators. And finally some paperwork which includes a user manual and a warranty card. Just make sure to read them. So that's it, these are all the items you got in the package. Now let me finally show you the camera. So here it is, the Noise Play SE 4K action camera. It comes in this 30 meter waterproof case, so you can even shoot underwater videos using it. The build quality is pretty good, it's made of high quality plastic and also has buttons on it so you can operate the camera even with the case. Now let me just open the case, take the action cam out and show you how it looks like. So this is how the Noise Play Special Edition action camera looks like. It comes in this matte black color and looks quite nice from my first impressions. I like the design, we've got the Noise Play SE branding on the front, a 6G 170 degree wide angle lens with an f2.2 aperture. The quality of the lens looks fine, we'll have to see how it performs. Talking about the build quality, the build quality is good. The body is made of high quality plastic and the camera weighs around 60.5 grams. You've got a mode slash power button on the front, at the top side you only have a single OK button and a status LED indicator. Going to the right side, you've got two buttons over here which are the up and down menu navigation buttons and a tiny speaker beside that. And on the left side, you've got a microphone, a micro SD card slot, a micro USB port for charging and data transfer and a micro HDMI port. That's it, these are all the ports on it. Going to the bottom side, you've got the battery compartment. Let me open this lid and show you. So that is how you open it. As I've told you earlier, it comes with a 1050 mAh lithium battery. And going to the back side, you've got a 2 inch LCD screen and some status LED indicators. Alright, so that was our complete overview on the design and the build quality. Now let me just insert an SD card in it, power it on and show you all of its menu and features. And back guys, I've inserted an SD card in it, so let me just power it on and show you. You need to press and hold the power button for about 2-3 to three seconds to power it on. And this is how the display on it looks like. It's got a 2 inch LCD display and the display quality was decent for the price. It's sharp, bright and produces decent colors. But the viewing angles were not that good. By pressing the mode button on the front, you can access all the available camera modes. This is photo mode, slow motion mode, this is gallery and finally you can access the settings. So let me quickly show you the settings page. Over here you can set the video resolution. It can shoot videos from 720p to all the way up to 4K 30 frames per second. Along with that you've got time lapse, loop recording, slow motion settings. In the photo section you can set the photo resolution, it's right now set to 16 megapixel and some other options. Here you've got even more camera options and these are the general camera settings. 
Well, that's it. That was our complete overview on the menu and all the available camera modes. Now let's just go out, shoot some videos and see how the camera performs. Alright guys, here are a few sample video clips that I shot on this camera. This particular clip was shot in 1080p resolution at 30 frames per second. The white balance was set to auto and the exposure value was set to zero. And from my first impressions, I felt the video quality was average. But considering that it's a very affordable budget action camera, this is what you would expect. The noise play SE has Sony's IMX179 sensor with an effective resolution of 8 megapixels. And the chipset it's using is Allwino V3. Talking about the video quality, it had a bitrate of around 26 Mbps and the video was sharp, producing good colors and the white balance was also nice. But the dynamic range on the camera was very limited. You can see that there's not much detail in the highlight areas. Most of the time, the sky was completely getting washed out. Just check out this clip. This video clip was shot in 1080p but at 60 frames per second and for some reason the quality was really bad in this mode. You do have that smooth 60fps movement but the quality was not that good. Talking about the bitrate, it had that same bitrate of around 26 Mbps. This video clip was shot in 2.7k resolution at 30 frames per second. And the video quality was okay. There was good amount of detail, the colors were nice and the sharpness was also okay. The bitrate was the same as in 1080p resolution. The noise play SE has a 6G 170 degree wide angle lens. So because of that you'll see some slight distortion at the edges. And if you can observe one more thing, this action camera doesn't come with EIS. There's no sort of image stabilization in the video. But again guys, for such a low price, you can't expect those features. For 3500 rupees, I felt it was giving reasonable results. You can't complain much. I've seen many action cams in the price range of around 1500 to 2500 rupees and they were totally useless. At least this one was offering some decent and usable videos compared to those. But one thing guys, Guys, don't expect that using this you'll create some professional videos or anything, it's not recommendable for that. It's just a fun sort of action camera made for home purpose at a very affordable price tag. And lastly, this video clip was shot in 4K resolution. The company says that it's 4K 30 but it doesn't look like 30 frames per second. As you can see in the video it's only around 10 to 15 fps and also guys it's not real 4K. I feel it's all upscaled video and the overall video quality in this mode was not that good. Out of all the modes, I felt the camera was giving its best result in 1080p 30 fps. And talking about the battery life, the battery life was very good. While shooting in 1080p, you'll easily get an average continuous recording time of around 2 hours. Alright guys, now it's time to test the microphone quality on this action camera. The noise play SE does come with a built-in microphone and this is how the audio on it sounds like. Hello check 123 microphone test on the noise play SE 4K action camera. It's evening time right now and the weather looks very nice and pleasant. We're shooting this video right now in 1080p resolution at 30 frames per second. So what do you guys think about the microphone quality? Do let me know in the comment section down below. And here are a few photo samples shot in 16 megapixel resolution, just have a look at them. Well that was my video on Noise Play SE affordable budget action camera. It's a decent action camera for the price. 
You can use this camera to shoot some 1080p videos with reasonable quality, but don't keep any high expectations from it. For the price what you're paying, it was doing a good job. The build quality is nice, comes with a 30 meter waterproof case so you can even shoot underwater. There's also a wireless remote control in the box and a lot of accessories. The only thing I was not that satisfied was with the microphone. The mic quality was below average. The noise play SC costs around 3500 rupees. I'll just leave a link to that in the description box below. You can get it from there. So that was it for today. Thanks for watching my video. Hope you all enjoyed it. Make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more new awesome videos. And I'll see you in the next one.